worked with us every step along the way, even you Dayton, you worked with us every step along you have. Every step along, I don't think it's Bird. Definitely. Not Mr. Bird, Mr. Bird doesn't think it's Bird. Yeah, okay. We are genuinely really proud of you. You've been the best year group to work with that I've had at my time at the Academy. You've taken all the support, all the advice, all the tutoring, all the extra work, you've taken it all on board in an effort to be absolutely the best that you can be. And I think so many of you will be so successful in the summer. And one thing that I'm really pleased about is that I'll see so many of you again in September when we start as year 12. But that's the future. Let's talk about today. So we have our leaders assembly, we have our awards, right at the end, the end we have the best bit of the video. I have had a sneak peek, it's probably the best one we've ever done, I think that's fair to say. So I don't want to get your hopes too high, but it's very good. So I'm going to hand you over yeah. to Miss Thompson. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, Miss Thompson. So, Sarah's just gone over the order of events, so I don't need to do that, that's really good. Um, I would also like to welcome you all to the final assembly, um, and thank you all for coming today, and just reiterate that it is absolutely wonderful to see you all, and to see Rossi in full uniform, it has made me a very happy woman. Um, on a personal note, I've had the pleasure of being your Director of Learning for three out of your five years here at Workington Academy, and some of you I have known since you were babies. Some of you I witnessed walking into nursery for the very first time and it is an absolute pleasure to witness all of you walking out the doors. Some of us have been here from the start, some of us have joined halfway through, but regardless of that you have been an absolute, as I said, wonderful, amazing year group. Um, the world is a very different place since the five years that you joined us. And today we're going to take a little trip down memory lane and then we'll move on to the awards, as I said. We're going to begin, so sit back, we're going to reminisce about what I know eventually you will see as the best years of your life. We've made memories, friends, we've had experiences, good and bad, which will shape you all for the future. So it started back in summer school in July 2018. Fresh from primary, some of you came in friendship groups, some of you came alone. All of you made the effort to gel as a year group right from the start. It was clear from summer school that there was something unique about this year group. If not only for your passion of dressing up, as we can see in some of these photographs, it was also to become a theme for the future. You participated in sports, art, drama, singing, dancing. You cooked, and if I remember rightly, you ate endless bags of crisps in this hall. All of you were out of your comfort zone, but true to form, all of you embraced your challenge as you would continue to do throughout your school life. And we've just got a couple of little photographs there of the baking and the cooking and the sports and all of you having the best time. You went home exhausted after busy weeks with us, as did Mrs O'Hagan and all of the teachers who worked in summer school. The weather was great, and so were you. Not long after you've been here, <laughs> we had the opportunity to go to Keswick for Derby War today, and the time to bond together with your new friends in your new forms. Your form tutors came along too. You all got into the spirit of the day and participated, participated in the team building events, most of it involving water. You practiced sharing and caring and thinking outside the box. The weather was absolutely glorious. Some of you proudly wore your 2018 Leavers hoodies from primary school and I hope that five years later you'll wear your new ones with as much pride. I'm sure you will. <laughs> this was such a wonderful day, wonderful day. All of you went home muddy, wet and happy.
the end of October. Uh, so your Halloween disco. The costumes were amazing, as mentioned earlier, and dressing up is something you would all come to love. All of you who came made an effort to be the best dressed. Good versus evil, dead prom queens, werewolves, and fairy tales galore. You disco danced all night long. Wrapped each other in toilet roll to make mummies and picnics on the floor. It's safe to say that you definitely got the, me the memo and it really was a spectacular event. I have no idea who Freddy Kruger is at the front because I can't find a single picture of you without the mask. If you'd like to reveal yourself to us today, Please feel free to do so. Maybe not. <laughs> Wonderful pictures. We then very quickly moved on to the Christmas party. And it's all the one and only Christmas party that you ever went to. And you really let your hair down. You all limboed your way under the tinsel with Miss Treadle and I and danced to the Cha Cha slide. And loved every minute of it. This is something which you'll hopefully see a repeat of at your prom. Mr. Hendon wore his favourite Christmas jumper, which has appeared regularly since then, every year in fact. Oh the best dressed award goes to the Daily Twins in their gorgeous party dresses, and Lucy's lipstick was a sign of things to come. Her love of makeup continued to grow. And so have her eyelashes. <laughs> and when I said that this was a thing, a sign of things to come, the Christmas jumper has always proven to be very, very popular indeed. The award for the most committed party goer goes to Matthew White. <laughs> who kept his full snowman suit on for the whole of the party. I, on the other hand, did not get into the Christmas spirit as much as the other teachers. Mrs Williamson is on here, also in her party dress, a sign that she indeed was to be with you 100% from the very start. You even had a real life Father Christmas. I'm sure you all still believed at this point. There is one thing for sure, the teachers had as much fun as you did. We then moved on to Sports Day and summertime at Workington Academy has always seen the annual competitive Sports Day event. It is a day of sun, fun and laughter. You spent the early years fighting over who wanted to do every sport to later find an excuse not to do it. Sports Day was great. Running and relay, long jump and high jump, shot and javelin. Not to mention Mr Savage on the decks and lollies all round. It is these times that we will never forget. You competed for the best form awards. Some of you watched on, like Byron here, but Faye was more ready to run for her life. <laughs> And I was also only lucky enough to volunteer to come with you, although I vowed I would never do it again afterwards. I remember vividly the midges everywhere, but more importantly, I remember the laughter. The campfire was ablaze, and you enjoyed toasted marshmallows. Mrs. Robertson made sure you were all well fed, <laughs> along with the carry bags of sweets that you had in your tent. Canoeing, rock climbing, swimming, diving. It was a truly memorable occasion.
occasion. You all slept soundly in your tents and everything was packed away nicely in your bags. Well, almost. Your parents categorically not agree with that statement. It was the year 11 prom on the night of the Friday of that week and I personally had never felt so exhausted in all of my life. We move on to the Year 7 Awards evening. Proud as punch, every one of you. It was your first official awards ceremony and it was actually at the start of Year 8 when you got the chance to reflect on all of your achievements. It was a brilliant occasion and again one which I was lucky enough to attend. You were all so proud of your achievements, as were your parents. The hall was packed with families that would come along to celebrate with you. The bar was set and you all continued to flourish in everything you did. Academically, we had never had a year group like this. We could not wait to see what lay ahead. Look how proud you all look. <laughs> And then we continued to smash every other year group when it came to rewards. And again, the Christmas jumper theme appeared. Many of you have received prestigious head teachers awards. And even more of you were awarded in your forms. We've had undoubtedly the bragging rights for the most successful year group. And for someone as competitive as me, that is also amazing. What will I do now, once you have all gone? <laughs> the final one is Mr Davidson, who pretends that he isn't bothered about his attendance, but was clearly more excited than anybody else in that room that day to receive his highest attendance reward. So well done. And then we changed, and you became the COVID generation. Things started to change early in January, when the whispers of a pandemic from China came to our shores. It felt so far away at first, but by March, we faced the biggest challenge of our lives. Socially, emotionally, and academically. For the first time ever, we closed our doors at Workington Academy. And I remember vividly standing in this hall in front of you all with Mr Bird, telling you that we were closing. All of us were in shock. Some of us didn't know what to do. But very quickly, your resilience kicked in. And although we were at home, we were together as a team. And all of you remember that dreaded teens calling sound when you were upstairs in your bedroom and your teachers were calling you in the living room downstairs. We met daily with teachers and tutors for lessons online. We worked creating posters, rainbows. We learned new skills of baking and painting and developed a sense of grit and determination which we have never seen before and something which I know has helped you all over the past few months. You were hit hard. You chose your options online from a broadcast made by the head and myself and it was a very tough time, but we managed. We came back to masks and bubbles and testing and isolating. We were in and out due to clo con close contact procedures. Some of you were out for six weeks at a time, but you got through it together and slowly started to form your friendships that you had lost. You worked hard to gain a sense of normality. You will be forever the COVID generation but you will be remembered for so many more great things and have never let this terrible time hinder you in any way. And then we come on to sporting achievements. And I can't take the credit for the notes that I've got in front of me because Mr. Holiday has written a report. Firstly, the PE department would like to give a massive thank you to all of those involved in sport in any way since Year 7. Whether that was through lunchtime clubs, after school clubs or interform competitions. Your efforts are very much appreciated by the PE department. 
Unfortunately, much of your year 8 to 10 sporting opportunities were affected by COVID and we haven't been able to give you as much opportunity as we would have liked. You have still made many successes as a year group and as well as individuals. Year 7 was extremely successful for the girls as they reached the National Semi Cup Final in Rugby League and won the Allerdale Netball Copeland. So the Allerdale and Copeland Netball League. The highlight for the boys was winning the Year 10 Allerdale Football Competition. Individually, we would like to congratulate Erin Nicole Pierce for her extracurricular dedication over all the years and her achievements in the local ladies netball league. Jess Richardson for her county school selections in shot, discus and hammer over the years. Dylan Walsh for the just the sheer number of clubs he has attended. Byron Coulson for his achievements in representing rugby league. Jack White for being the only boy in Allerdale to be selected for the county football team. Jay Hyde for achievements and progress in the school county golf competitions. We would also like to wish good luck to Lucas Brown, Gareth Neiman and Harrison McCulloch in their quest to be Mr Cumbria, whose in-school training has been affected by Mr Davidson stealing the PE department's weight bench and five kilogram dumbbells to help with his preparations for the OAP Love Island. <laughs> also, we congratulate Rossi Gunson on completing most of his PE lessons in his favourite shoes. We are sure his timetable must have said PE period 4, wedding period 5. <laughs> Finally, a special mention to Callum Brothers, who received the Year 11 Basketball MVP for smashing slam dunks in his Gucci sliders. <laughs> Good luck and keep up the hard work. We couldn't let today's assembly take place without discussing the charity work that you have all been involved in. And I would personally like to take this moment to thank Miss Perkins for her... Well, as she comes through the door. <laughs> Hi, Miss. We would personally like to thank Miss Perkins for her continuous work and teaching her form the importance of charitable work. Since the start of year seven, this form has worked to support animal charities and raised, raised nothing short of thousands of pounds. In addition to this, all of you have continued to work in your forms to donate to your local charities, even in year 11. You have visited care home, Sent care homes sent packages to local people and I would like on behalf of Workington Academy to personally thank you all for this. The Christmas jumpers again were given a new lease of life when we went to visit the care home to give out gifts and Christmas cards that you had all made. We spent some time throughout your school journey preparing you for what lies ahead. You have all worked really hard to prepare yourselves for whatever is going to come next. We've had interview days, inspiring interviews, visits from external employees in Careers Week, where lots of you made a very good impression. We've had work experience, and last year we visited Newcastle University and Lakes College for the opportunity to see what the wider world has in store for you. I am more than sure that whatever the future holds, all of you will go on to do great things. And we as a school would like to thank every single one of you and wish you the very best for whatever you decide to do next. Just before I just come to the end, we had um, a little poll in the office of things that you regularly said to myself and Mr Newman and Mrs Williamson. And um, these came top of the poll. Um, <laughs> We have regularly joked in the office that there was a sign on the front of the door that said, work, said Workington Academy Pharmacy. You've asked us for paracetamol in your droves, bandages, plasters, ear drops, antihistamines, blister plasters, tea tree oil. You name it, you've come and asked for it. We've stitched trousers. Well, we've stitched Jack White's trousers on a number of occasions. <laughs> we've mopped up bloody knees and many tears along the way. We really would not have changed a thing. We have laughed and cried, and that's just me. 
and we've chatted with cups of tea and comforted each other every day. Many of you were not happy when I would not let you go home. One day you'll thank me, especially Jaden McCann and Mia McAllister, who literally want you to go home every single day. And now you don't want to leave at all. So just before I put a couple of pictures on of you all, Mrs Newman um, can't be here today. And she has worked absolutely tires tirelessly every day of her life. Um, she's leaving Worthington Academy at the end of this academic year um, and I know that this is being broadcast so I would just like you all, if you can, to put your hands together for Mrs Newman because she has been at helps me and all of this would not be possible without Mrs Williamson's help. So please put your hands together. <laughs> A little bit abruptly there at the end, sorry. But um, can you give yourselves a round of applause? Thank you. All of you have been absolutely amazing and, and like Mr um, Bedford said at the beginning, you have all gone above and beyond this year, especially to give yourselves the best chance moving forward. So we're going to begin by doing our form tutor awards. And your form tutor 
nominated you to have an award and a little medal to put round your neck which is even better. Okay? So we're gonna start with um, Mr Davidson Mr Davidson's form and that goes to Erin P as well done. Of the, of the section. <laughs> Can we have Miss McCrory's um, form with Ellie Bailey? Thank you. Miss Perkins was Leah Hoban. Well done, Leah. Mr. Burns, Jaden Messenger. Miss Hegarty, Alfie Rosser. And Mrs. Murphy, Jessica Commission. Some days can get to with Thank you. Achievement. So we'll start with English. English for achievement, Kate Nisham for progress, Jodie Lee Whitaker, well done. <laughs> for Max, Greg Jones for achievement and for progress, Kimberly Haywood, well done. <laughs> for physics, Preston Keeler for achievement and for progress, Susan Marenska. For biology, we have for achievement Dylan Walsh, and for effort, Keira Edgar. <laughs> for chemistry, we have Alvin Rosser, and for progress, we have Brooke Richardson. Well done. Gracias. 
Walsh. Gordon, 
Andriana Blacklock. Can you all just put your hands together for that?
Alfie Johnston. Harrison Drysdale. Sandy Cassidy. And Harrison Price. We have together for the
here who goes to Geordie Lee with the cat. We have some fundraising champions, and that is Jacob Fryer and Amy Milligan, Kelsey Irving, and Ebony Brown. Well done. We have our year group champions for demonstrating the three R's, being the best they can be and impressing the year 11 team all year. And that is Jesse Johnson, Gracie Price, Josh Tawney, Callum Brothers.
never gives herself any credit. But Mrs. Thompson works tirelessly for you, tirelessly for you guys. So can we please just give Mrs. Thompson a